If we are committing a mistake and we are considering that this is a sin, this is a mistake, so this is normal. But if we commit a mistake and we think that it is not a mistake, that is more dangerous than this one. We should never forget that all that we are doing, injustice with our children, female children, our wives, our sisters, our mother, grandmother, is bound to really jeopardize our career on the Day of Judgment. Bound to mar ibadah. Whatever we are doing, performing salah, performing hajj, paying zakah, and mashallah, distributing wealth among the poor, social worker, running an organization, people know in the world that this is a man who distributes a lot his wealth in the way of Allah. Very good. May Allah accept. But if we have done wrong in any aspect, with our own sister, our own daughter, the sisters of our own parents, especially father, then all this, what you are doing and getting name and fame in the world will be in one side. And whatever bad you have done with your sister, with the sister of your father, or your own daughter, they will play they are very crucial role against you. As it is mentioned in Abu Dawood chapter inheritance, that a person will worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 60 years. How many years? 60 years. But at the end of his life, he will exploit his wealth so that he can deprive someone of his share and give someone. He will directly enter hell. When I was studying this hadith, I understood that the word 60 years is only because normally people pass away in 60 years or like this. It means that if a person performs salah, performs hajj, pays zakah, and does a lot of work, religious work, people are happy and pleased with him. But he has done injustice. And at the time of his death, he has done something because of which an heir, a waris, is deprived of his own share. The beloved Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said in a clear word that he will enter hell. And this is what is mentioned in Muslim Sharif, that if a person comes on the Day of Judgment with a lot of ibadah, hajj, zakah, and all these things, but he will have done a lot of wrong with the people, that the people will come, they will start asking, Oh Allah, he has done wrong with me, he has done this with me, he has done that with me. Then his ibadah first will be started to be distributed and given to him, 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 this, that. And he will come to the conclusion that now all that he has done by the name of Ibadah in this world is gone. Now the sins of these people will be started to be transferred on his shoulder. At last, he will be put in hell. We should never forget that the women, sisters, daughters, whom we are depriving, they are very close to us in this world and they are not demanding. In town, metro cities, women, sometimes they have guts to demand to go to Mufti Sahib, Darul Ifta, Darul Qaza, like this. They ask. But in hilly areas, in villages, even they don't think to ask. Even they feel it shame. Oh, a sister is demanding. Oh, sister of father is demanding part. Then 
even don't imagine to ask. But remember, you can practically check it, whether they are happy and pleased with what we are doing or not. Give them once. This is what has been decided as Sharia, as the share of yours in the inheritance of your mother or father. Give them and check whether they accept or not. You know, in the other spheres of life, people are not living even a single passive, coming and taking, going to the court and here and there. Only social pressure is there. On the day of judgment, they will come, may Allah prohibit. And they all will ask, oh Allah, this is my brother, this is my father. And this is this and this. I was deserving this amount of share. But because of the crucial, brutal social system and custom, I couldn't open my mouth. I couldn't ask him to give. The rule is that, the principle is that in hukukul ibad, in rights of slaves, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself won't forgive anyone. As per Surah Al Abbas. Surah number 80 and 34 to 37, as well as Surah Al Ma'arish, ayah number 11 to 14. It is mentioned that on the day of judgment, even a brother will flee from his brother, a son will flee from his mother, and even closest relative, each and everyone will have concern due to which they won't be able to pay their attention to the other.